Leaving Washington, D.C., I took Amtrak's Cardinal train that got into Cincinnati around 1.30 in the morning. From the observation deck at the top of the Carew Tower, you can see the railroad bridge over the Ohio River coming into view at the top right of your screen. I went over that bridge on Amtrak and continued through the city to the station stop at Union Terminal. That's the dome-shaped building in the distance. Union Terminal opened in 1933 and is a classic example of Art Deco style. There are incredibly detailed mosaics along the walls, and the building has the largest half-dome construction in the Western Hemisphere. The ceiling is incredible. In addition to the Cincinnati History Museum with its large model railroad layout, there's the Duke Energy Children's Museum, the Museum of Natural History and Science, an Omnimax Theater, and the Tower A Railroad Museum and Rail Yard Observation Area. Union Terminal was designed to accommodate 17,000 passengers and 216 trains per day. With some of the displays and photographs, it's easy to imagine the station during the heyday of passenger travel, with thousands of people and a wide variety of shops and services, including a movie theater. During World War II, the terminal played an important role moving troops by rail, with a peak of 34,000 people per day moving through the station in 1944. After the end of World War II, airlines and highway travel caused a rapid decline in train travel and passenger service at Union Terminal stopped in 1972 until it resumed in 1991 with Amtrak service. Cincinnati had a unique system of funiculars. Instead of enclosed cars carrying passengers, they had open platforms that carried horse-drawn wagons and electric streetcars up and down hills that were too steep for them to travel normally. This model depicts the Mount Adams Incline, which opened in 1876 and operated until 1948. This exhibit was fantastic and was one of the largest model railroad layouts in a museum in the United States. I really hope the recent renovation didn't detract from this display. When I visited in 2014, the Cincinnati Railroad Club operated the Tower A Museum, and there were also observation windows looking out on a working freight rail yard. Lots of tall yellow machines with an operator sitting in a little glass bubble at the top, carrying shipping containers to and from trains and trucks. Somehow the right container ended up in the right place. The precision of lowering those containers onto a rail car or an 18-wheeler was impressive. But the historical exhibits in the Tower A Museum helped me picture a very different view of that rail yard and imagine how it looked many years ago. When the terminal was in full swing back in the 30s and 40s, Tower A controlled about 100 track switches and 150 signal lights that could automatically route trains through the terminal. The train director sat at a desk in the tower and set up a route for each train. Then lever men standing in front of him would operate large levers that sent electrical signals to pneumatic devices down at the tracks. Those devices used compressed air to move the switches so that each train would follow the correct path through the terminal. At the time, that system was the first major installation of electric pneumatic railroad switching in the United States. The entire control system was displayed on a large board showing all the tracks and with lights indicating the position of all the switches. That board was still there on display and was 5 feet high and 42 feet long. Almost 100 years ago, that system moved 216 trains a day through dozens of interconnected tracks and passenger platforms. Amazing. Another great display in Tower A was the brochure rack, featuring about 80 U.S. excursion railroads. I was pleased to see a couple of brochures from my home state in New Hampshire. For an excellent online listing, Google United States Heritage Railroads. That should bring up a Wikipedia site with a detailed state-by-state -state list that's a good trip planner. Same as for the model railroad layout downstairs. I hope the recent restoration project didn't detract from the fascinating historical information and the observation windows onto the rail yard of the Cincinnati Railroad Club's Tower A Museum.